everybody. It is almost nine o'clock. I have been up since 7.30, but I made the mistake. Oh, good. I wanted to get the lighting off my face. I made the mistake of watching a Hallmark movie this morning while I was doing other things on the computer, and I've had a good cry. So happy Vlogmas Day 7. Started off with a nice Christmas movie and some tears, but tears because of course it's a happy ending. Anyway, I'm gonna go get showered and I will talk to you soon. Oh yeah, they reckon we're gonna get some snow on Friday. Friday, Sunday and Tuesday by the looks of it. All right guys, we'll talk to you in a bit. So we're heading to Ash's store. She's got a return. Let's just go down by the reindeer after just in case they're out during the day only, yep. like you said. Please, may we? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean demand. But it's very sunny, but it's only 42, so it is nippy. It's nice to see the sun. Balloons. He's having a sale on carpet. Okay, we just did Ashes Exchange. This lady in this massive Lexus just pulled out in front of us. Because she's bigger, she kept going. I just love everybody in your store. Everyone's so friendly. Yeah. It's a bit quiet right now, which is nice. Okay, we're home. We've got bacon, egg and cheese for lunch and a coffee. Ashley got the Christmas tree drink, but I don't think they did it quite right because she doesn't have the green topping and the red to make it look. Oh, my camera's... It looks like just a caramel Yeah, it's supposed to look more Christmas tree in green. So it tastes good, and it does taste good. I tried it, but it just doesn't. We have stuff to wrap, we've got more paper, we've got a Roxy right here on my lap and a Louie and we're watching Jingle all the way and I'm going to put the fireplace on. Um, Roxy's waiting now for the mailman, he hasn't been yet. So it's the last night of the Hockey League. Two teams. Got all the salt trucks over there, all the brining trucks, because we're supposed to get some snow this weekend. You got the bag, Ash? Okay, thanks. We'll lock everything there. Last night, last night, last night. Oop, and I dropped the camera. Last night. I want to do that too. Right. So we are done, done, done. So we're just watching the mistletones again. Ashley just signed up for Hulu, so we were checking it all out. Pete's in his office editing. Louis down there. Roxy. It's right there. Hi, Rox. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. It's about 11.30. Um, we left the league football... No. <laughs> 3, 2, 1. We left the ice hockey rink, ran and did an error and then grabbed some burgers and came home. I was so cold I thought, before I eat my dinner I'm going to come upstairs get my PJs on. And I'm like, let me grab my camera so I can end the vlog. Couldn't find my camera anywhere. Went to the car, couldn't find it, looked in my bag, couldn't find it, looked in my pocket. 
knew I'd taken some pictures at the rink. Then I'm like, did I take pictures at the rink? And Ashley goes, no, you did, you used your camera. And I remember putting it in my pocket and then we had to break the, all the equipment down, uh, the lights, the background and everything. We were carrying everything out and things got really, really heavy. And I um, thought I'd lost my camera. So I'm looking around the house, can't find it. Um, he kind of got upset with me and then I got like, oh my god, the vlog, and if someone finds the camera and they start posting my clips up on YouTube, <laughs> and I'm not going to have a vlog, I've been vlogging almost six years and I'm not going to have a vlog, I'm going to have missed a day, all this stuff, then I was getting really upset because I'm like, I don't have any other camera to vlog on, and uh, it was getting beside myself, so Pete, I tried calling the uh, ice rink to see if anybody was there, if anybody had handed one in, and uh, Pete goes, I'm going to get changed and go back because he'd just changed into comfortable clothes. I'm like, no, don't. If anyone's going to change and go back, it's going to be me. No, I couldn't eat my dinner. I just pushed it to one side. I was like, oh, God, don't tell me I've lost my camera. And Pete gets changed. And Ash goes, I'll go with him. And Pete's like, no, Ashley, stay here with your mother. I'm going. So he goes out, lock, shuts the door. And Ashley goes, Mom, I'm going to go. So she runs out after him. And I'm like, let me just go upstairs one more time and look in my bag. Emptied out my bag for the third time. My bag's not that big. It wasn't in there. Um, as I'm doing that, the back door opens and Ashley comes in and I thought, oh, Pete went without her. And then I hear po Pete's, po Pete's voice. Ashley goes, I found it, Mum. It was in the car, wedged between the background, the big long background, and... We had to have the car seat on one side of the back seat down so we could get all the equipment back in the car to bring it home. There it was. I went and looked. Pete went and looked. Neither of us saw it. Good job Ashley has good eyes. Because if Ashley hadn't have run out, if Ashley hadn't have run out after Pete to go with him, she would never have, he would never have seen it. He would have gone back, walked all around the whole place and outside and not found it because it was in the car the whole time and Pete was taking the car to work he's taking the black car with him to work tomorrow so uh, I wouldn't have had a vlogging camera <laughs> oh dear anyway grateful but it's amazing how you feel like your right arm's been cut off because I'm like I use it to vlog and yes I could use my ca my phone and all that but I use a camera and it's easier for me so Anyway, that's that. So I just sat downstairs with Ash. Pete's gone back into his office to edit. <laughs> he really needs to sit down because when he got out of the car, he twisted his knee really, really bad and couldn't walk. And I said, well, don't carry anything. Let us carry it in. But Mr. Stubborn said, you can't carry my camera case up the stairs. I thought between the two of us, we could have, or if anything, would have wheeled it into at least the garage or the basement. So it was in the house and out of the car because you don't want to leave anything of value in the car. But yeah, so everything went well. We had two teams, the little teeny tiny tots, four years old to eight years old. Um, but only seven of them showed up. They didn't have any practice time. They literally come just to do pictures. And then we had the older kids. And they were so polite and nice that when Pete had to go down onto the main rink to do their picture he started lining the kids up as he's lined every other group up and the coach i'm gonna set my team up not you so he did and i have to tell you because i said to pete why why was the back row like all out of whack and pete goes oh i didn't set it up the coach did he goes i was getting to the point where i'm like i'm like <laughs> he said he was getting to the point where he's just like okay and then someone asked Pete a question, he goes, ask the coach. The coach was so loud, because when I went back to video, he's like screaming at the kids, they haven't even started yet, I've done anything. But Pete goes, yeah, I wasn't, he goes, the last one, let him, let him have it. So that was that. So it's over now, we've done our four days. All my nerves and worry at the beginning of the week were unnecessary, as they always are. I'd like to psych myself out and get myself stressed out. It's silly. So now we have a nice ice hockey league under our belt. So that is it. 
so for now guys i'm gonna love and leave you for this evening i hope everybody had a brilliant thursday i hope you had a fantastic vlogmas day seven whatever you guys did today hope it was a good one and we'll see you tomorrow good night